All right, are you guys ready for all of the pinks and burgundies and mauves that look fantastic on cool to neutral, fair-skinned people? This is one of those things, they're so, so hard to find. Everybody complains about it who has a similar skin tone. It's just, I don't think there's a whole ton of us out there. So, you know, they don't make a ton of lipsticks for us, but I have spent years <laughs> collecting and curating all of the ones that I have found. I'm always looking for more, but I have, I, I can't even tell you how many are sitting in front of me. I'm gonna have to make this video and then I will count them, <laughs> but it's a lot. So grab a cup of coffee, tea, whatever you like to drink. We are gonna go through all of the good ones that I have found. If you just can't find one that matches your skin tone and you're just you're tired of going to the store and being like warm, 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 warm. Okay, they're all warm. This is not gonna work for me. Darn, I really wanted to try this new formula, but they don't make anything in my shade. I have got you. I have the ones that you can search out and a lot of these will be sort of your ride or die. I wear them every day. Okay, enough talking about it. Let's get into all of the different ones that are gonna look great on your skin tone. I'm gonna break this up into three different categories. We're gonna start with lip glosses and then we're going to move into regular lipsticks and then we'll do matte lipsticks just so that my lips don't die as I'm trying each one of these on. We'll go from most moisturizing to least moisturizing. Okay, just real quick. I realized when I was looking through all of my footage that everything was reading a lot warmer than it actually does in real life. And I figured out it is because I have this beautiful Canon camera. It makes everything look really, really nice and it adjusts color automatically depending on your background. So when I put that very, very gray background in there, because I was going for cool, it said, oh, we better warm some stuff up so that everything looks more aesthetically pleasing. Well, that's not what I want, right? Okay, so I'm going to put an insert of my normal background. These are the exact same lights that are on the gray background. This is what the color really looks like. So all of them are much cooler than what you're seeing when I'm putting it on in the gray background. The gray background I think is very pretty, but it's not completely accurate. Before we go any further, <laughs> I wanted to explain why there is a difference between me with the gray background and me with just my regular background. This is the accurate one. <laughs> All right, carry on. So first things first, I'm gonna start with my favorite lip liners. I don't use lip liners all the time. In fact, very frequently I don't, but sometimes you kind of need them for certain looks and lipsticks and some lipsticks kind of travel outside of the lines without them. And uh, some lipsticks just don't, you know, they don't give you a nice crisp edge. Here are the ones that work if you're wearing very, very cool toned type of lipsticks. First, these are really my ride or dies. These are the Sephora gel lip liners and I love not only the color, but that you can just screw them up. These actually come with a little sharpener if you want the gel end to not be so dull. I don't even use it, don't really need it. You could use these, they are so soft and so like beautiful and creamy. You can use these as just a lipstick on their own, but I never do because I have other options. This one is Sinker Suede. And as you can see, just a nice, cool mauve. This one is called the Nudist. Now don't let this scare you off. This looks warm. The inside is not warm. It's like the cool version of that. There we go. This would be like, a lot of people like the sort of a little more brown lip liners, especially if you have warm toned skin. Um, like wherever walnut there, there's a lot of really popular ones there's some Charlotte Tilbury ones that are really popular this would be sort of the replacement for those popular brown ones that are too warm this is like a, a cooler brown for us and it does have some pink in there as well but when I'm doing lighter lip colors I will use this one and then finally I've got this Maybelline color sensational gone grige this one it's another one that you just you know up like that 
and this one's a little more fine but and it's a little darker and a little more mauve these three are really all i ever need for my cool toned lipsticks now in this i am also going to include some lip oils they are sort of everywhere and they ride the line a lot of the tinted lip oils ride that line of almost really being a lip gloss and sometimes i just can't tell the difference so i just lumped them all together these are all the ones that i really like that are good let's start with this new flower beauty gloss crush lip serum this one's in honey crush now this one's just a tad bit on the warmer side i forgot i gotta take off my current lipstick okay here's my bare lips they're actually really pale in real life it's just that i just rubbed them so they're kind of red this one feels fantastic i absolutely love how this feels this is super super light it does have the little hint of color and if i had to say it looks good on cool skin tones but it is the tiniest bit tiniest bit warm this is one of those ones that they don't call it a lip oil it feels like a lip oil it acts like a lip oil beautiful plumps up your lips so that you know if you have those lip lines that you have dry lips you would never know makes you look like you have filled lips really really beautiful really lets your natural lip color show through but gives you just a little bit more so really really like this formula and this color we're gonna do another lip oil so these are the new Juvia's Place ones and this one I believe is in watermelon and this one same kind of thing only it is closer to clear but it feels oops like <laughs> all over my face um, it feels so so cushiony and good and this one has a little bit less color than the other one but I would say that the two feel really really similar it's the same sort of really really slippy cushiony but it actually holds together so it doesn't go like wandering off on your face it stops at your lip line not sticky at all beautiful love this formula they have ones that are slightly colored but there's not a lot of color to these i'm mentioning these because sometimes when you have cool toned skin and you're also really really pale and you want to put something like chapstick on something to moisturize your lips but you don't want a whole lot of color you just want it to sort of bring out your own natural color stuff like that the lip oils that are clear with just a hint of pink those are perfect okay so let's move on next i found this online and i will have to put the name up because they don't have it on here it's one of those amazon um i think asian brands i <laughs> Oh my gosh so i have used up almost this whole thing i need to order more this one is in smoke pink and this is also a lip oil but this one is truly cool tone and it has a little bit it's more of like a pastel color so it actually does have like a little bit of color that is opaque unlike the other lip oils where you're seeing through it this one actually puts a light grayish pink right over your lips without being drying and it's just it's super cushiony and comfortable this one if you're going for a lip oil with color and you really want it to be cool toned and you you're ultra pale this one's probably my number one pick for lip oils it's just gorgeous i love this one it's on amazon really good price too so this is great Let's go into something that is a little more mauve-y. And this is another lip oil. This one's from Sigma. And I will put up what color it is. I can't read it, it's too small. And I am too old, <laughs> can't see it. All right, this has got another doe foot. This one is more of a true lip oil. It is see-through, but it's got more tint. And it is a tiny bit stickier, but not in a bad way. I'm not gonna recommend any that are like sticky gross or that I don't like wearing. So this one, I love these doe foot applicators. They're so good at putting everything right where you want it, not where you don't. And you know, it just, <laughs> it's kind of gross, but it just allows you to just like slop it on and 
you know, I hate when you just get a little bit and you're like, more, <laughs> more, you know, that's just, it's annoying. So anyway, the Sigma one, I would say this is more of a medium pink. It's not super cool, but it's, it's more neutral. It's right down the middle. Really, really pretty, very comfortable. And I love Sigma. Sigma has just great, great makeup. All right, next. I actually did a reel on this, but Summer Fridays just came out with their lip oils. They have some beautiful lip butters, but those were a little stickier. These are true lip oils and very, very slippy. And this is like a nice, cool mauve. This is one that travels a little bit because it is, yeah, it is so soft and moisturizing. It is a true dark burgundy mauve that's cool which I appreciate, but see, it does sort of travel up. This one, I really think benefits from using a lip liner if you have trouble with traveling. Um, it is still really, really pretty, really nice. And one of my favorites, a lot of times I will use this one over other ones. Summer Friday stuff is always really nice. And it's not obviously as dark as it is in here because it's a lip oil. It's gonna be a little bit see-through. I don't know if I would recommend that one without a lip liner for the aging lips. That's the one issue that is, I think, actually a real issue. It definitely travels outside of the lines, so. Buyer beware. <laughs> Finally, in the more lip oily sort of category, before I go on to lip glosses, this one does not tout itself as a lip oil, but it's like a thicker, stickier, in a good way, kind of lip oil. And it's the darkest of them. And this one is sort of more neutral, but it's a beautiful color on our skin tones. So this is the new House Labs and it's in Fig. Let's put this on. So you can see this is definitely warmer, but in a way that we can wear. So not all of my options are going to be completely cool it's going to be things that look good on us regardless of how cool or neutral our undertones are so this one is nice because it stays where you put it and you can build it up for the sake of my lips i'm not going to build this one up i'm just going to leave it right there but it's it's very comfortable, it's beautiful, and I do like that this one does not travel, so this is better for aging lips. <laughs> so, that's Fig from House Labs. Now let's move into actual glosses, not lip oils. The glosses that I like are mostly in that sort of mauve color, but we'll kind of we'll cover them all. This first one is very light and very, very pretty. It is from Rimmel. I actually really like these since, I mean, they are so, you know, cheap. <laughs> but the one thing I don't like about Rimmel glosses is they have a certain smell. I can get over it, but you know, sometimes the drugstore stuff, they put a certain scent in things. I don't know if they just can't take it out or if it just comes with it or they actually like mean to put it in. I can't even really describe it, but you know, kind of like, you know, some of the other, like the L'Oreal lipsticks have a certain sort of smell and that's not necessary, no. <laughs> I don't think that's a great thing. Anyway, so this is the Oh My Gloss Rimmel and this is, it feels fantastic. The scent will fade, but it is just, it's really beautiful, pale, pale mauve, and it is sort of see-through. It's got a little bit of sparkle, and it's, I mean, it's just got a really good formula. It feels really, really smooth on the lips. So that's that one. Okay, next, I'm gonna do the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I love this formula. This is super, super smoothing, and this is a really nice, just pale, neutral sort of pink. It is not super cool, but it is cool enough that it looks really good on us. And it's funny because it looks really cool like in the bottle, but I would say it's more of a neutral actually on the lips. 
I love this formula. It is super, super glossy and moisturizing. And it feels much more high-end than it is. And it's definitely drugstore prices. So that's this one from ColourPop. Okay, we're going to go a little more high-end with Sigma. Look at this beautiful, like, shimmery, pale color. Oh, it's, like, it's silvery, but not, it's, it's literally a pale, pale mauve shimmer. And it is beautiful. I love this both by itself and as a topper or right in the middle of my lip for other looks really really beautiful my lips are starting to hurt <laughs> and I'm not even halfway through this video all right there's that one from Sigma this one's super gorgeous you have to order them online but worth it totally worth it I love these okay next just got a couple from Moira and one of them is more like a purple and one of them is like that pale smoke gray mauve this one's my favorite okay so let's do that one first and this is the luminizer lip gloss this one another great formula but this is probably if I had to pick this is one of my favorite in the lip gloss category if you want something really smoky gray true cool pink and it has a good formula so you know I love Moira they just they know what they're doing they do some dupes but a lot of their stuff is just good on its own and then dr the drugstore price that they're able to offer is I mean you just can't beat it my lips are getting a little swollen so that upper lip line is gonna be a little weird but you can see the color so this one truly very very cool without being like dead gray that makes you look sickly. I love this one. All right, now let's do that purple one. So this one, if you're really looking for a cool purple, which is hard because usually you get sort of um, uh, a warm purple is what you usually find. This one is actually, oops, went too high. This one is actually a true cool purple. I gotta fix that. Y'all. Okay, this is another one where the formula is nice and slippy and soft and really good. Nothing sticky. I will tell you if it has sort of a sticky type of a formula, this does not. <laughs> My lips are so swollen already. You just touch me and I swell. All right, so here's, here's that one. Beautiful. Love it. And my final one is from Makeup by Mario, and he does not do a whole lot of cool tones, which is always a bummer because I love his formulas, but I can't wear a lot of his makeup. This one is really kind of cool. It goes on super soft. It is like a smoke gray. I will also put up, oh, I can almost read that name. Smoky, smoky pink, I think is what that is. I don't know. I'll put it up. <laughs> I can't see anything. Anyway, so yeah, this one really unique formula let me put it on gorgeous and very soft you do need to be a little careful putting it on I think well it could just be that my lips are super sore but this one might actually benefit from some lip liner because it's so soft when you're putting it on that it does kind of want to go outside the lines but look at that much darker than the other ones absolutely beautiful and it sort of dries down a little bit after you've been wearing it for a little bit but this one is one of my absolute favorites so the Moira one and this one from Makeup by Mario really really pretty so that concludes the lip glosses I know it's a lot so we're gonna move on to the lipsticks We've made it to regular lipsticks, and there are some really, really good ones. Well, let's get into it. You gotta have a MAC lipstick, so I actually really like this one. This is a great everyday one, and it's a much more moisturizing formula. A little more see-through, 
literally like I think it's the color of my lips it's beautiful and again very comfortable this one is just nice moisturizing it's not their usual one if you are looking for the perfect pink nude for us I, I think this is it it's gorgeous just a hint of color on us on other people you probably wouldn't even see it but for us this is pink but not too pink I think it's gorgeous all right next one more Mac why not this one is more of a medium pink if you are looking for something that is truly that medium sort of mauve this one leans a little tiny bit warmer so if you're neutral this is probably going to look better on you than if you're super cool toned but even if you're cool toned you can get away with this one you know if you're looking for that medium to light pink that's beautiful another really comfortable mac formula not too dry this is one of my absolute favorites as of late this is Dior Addict, my absolute favorite formula in all lipsticks. Moisturizing, beautiful, plumping, so slippy and good. It just, this is my perfect formula. I love this. Better love it because it's $45. <laughs> These are expensive, worth it. I love this. This is their lightest pink in Thai and Dior. This one I get asked about a lot. This looks really, really good on us. It is not the coolest pink. They don't have a cool pink that I can find. It is a really, really, like, leaning warm medium pink. But part of this is my lips are getting kind of red and irritated because I've been through almost 20 lipsticks at this point. This one, I love this one. I get asked a whole lot what I'm wearing when I'm wearing this one. It gives you that sort of lip filler look. It's that formula. It's just really plumping, no tingling or anything like that. It just hydrates you. And so you look really, really plump because of that. This one, I will say, like at least in my lights right now, this is reading warmer than it actually does in real life. When you are under, you know, natural outside light, you know, you're you're in the probably 6500k range it's it's much cooler blue light and it it cools this down just a little bit so hopefully it's showing but if not i still this is one of my absolute favorites absolutely gorgeous all right moving on i love the formula of these flower beauty ones I, all the flower beauty lipsticks are really great but they do tend to lean warm for me but this is sort of like a jelly clear one and I this particular color is perfect I think this is one of those great everyday sort of a little pinker than nudes and this one looks so pretty on us oh look at that and it's it it's a lot like the Dior formula honestly the way it feels now that I'm kind of comparing them. So, you know, maybe save yourself some money. This is darker, obviously, and much more plummy, but it feels almost as good as that Dior and is really, really pretty. Another great option. Okay, now this one's a little harder to get because it's from Nabla and they're always out of this color. This one, I don't have to read it, I know it. It's called Luz. I don't know how you say that. It's L-U-Z. And this one is a really pretty, look at that, kind of neutral pinky brown. This has a really nice formula as well. It's a little stiffer than like the Dior, but it's still, they call them the Beyond Jelly ones. And they do have sort of this a little bit jelly-like kind of formula very hydrating but stays in place a little bit more and I get asked about this color a lot and you have to order but if you're over in Europe you can probably get the Nabla makeup a little bit easier than we can over here in the States so you know some of you guys are over there this is probably easier for you to find but this is Nabla Luz and this is another really gorgeous one 
Okay, now we're gonna move into some of the darker colors. I actually really like these. I will do them fully dark or I will just sort of use them like really lightly, but they still have that nice like dark kind of feel to them. Okay, now back to that Dior formula, the Dior Addict. This one's called Dior Bar. This is dark. It is absolutely one of my favorites. It leans a tad more neutral to warm, but it looks really good on us. That's, I mean, I, this is one that I, I haven't been wearing it lately, but when I wear it, I get asked about it a lot. So that's this one. Very, very pretty. All right, now let's go real cool. This is Kiko Milano. Another one that is a little bit hard to get, but I can find it on Amazon sometimes. This one's dark and it's very pretty and very dramatic, but it has a true cool undertone. It's almost brown, almost purple. It's that muddy, very 90s looking, but it's so pretty. Really not warm at all, which I appreciate. And then a lot of times when you get this color, it's in a fairly matte sort of formula. And sometimes that can be a little overwhelming looking, whereas this one is a nice, really soft, slippy formula. And it is gorgeous. If you're feeling vampy and if you're feeling dramatic, this one is perfect. Okay, finally, and this is another dark one and a rare one to find. This is from Rare Beauty. It's more of like a sheer tint from them, which I, I can't find in store, but I got this in an Ipsy box and I love it. So, this one is very similar to the last one, but even more moisturizing, a little more opaque and cool, cool, cool. This one has a similar formula to the, the Dior ones. Super soft, super slippy, really, really nice. This one, it'd probably be good to have a liner with because it's so dark and it is really slippy. Oh, it's so pretty though. Mm. Oh, my dead girl vibes. <laughs> I don't care, I still really like it. And if you're looking for cool, it's cool. This one, I, nobody ever talks about this formula that I have heard. I don't know if it's discontinued or what, but this is really good. If it's discontinued, that, that's gonna make me sad because this is one of her better formulas. I actually really like this. On that note, we are done <laughs> with all of the regular lipsticks and we're gonna do a few mattes and then we'll be done. I know, this is so much. I hope you're taking notes. We made it to the mattes. This is gonna kill me. Thankfully, there's only one, two, three, four. The mattes, they hurt to, to take on and off. Let's start with this matte lip crayon. This is an oldie buddy goodie from L'Oreal. I've had this one forever. Uh, I've repurchased it several times. It's uh, Lavender Honey. This one's, you can use this as, holy shit. no. <laughs> we'll see if I can salvage this. So you can use this as a lip liner, but you can also use it the way it's supposed to be used, which is as a matte lip crayon. And this one is truly cool. Do be careful because uh, I got the leaves that's in here. Look at how pretty that is. It has that perfect sort of in between, like it's almost, it, it's like a darker nude for us. And then this formula is really, really nice. It does, it doesn't totally stay put, but it's a comfortable matte and it's a really pretty matte. And once it's down, it doesn't move around a whole lot. Oh yeah, my lips are gonna hate me after this second. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> my lip line is going away because it's so swollen and irritated. So you just bear with me here. I'm trying, I'm having to like overline, but everything's swollen, so. Okay, that is so pretty. I need to put this back in rotation, you know, if I can keep it from falling apart again. This is just, I love this color. <laughs> I love this. This is really, really pretty. Yeah. Oh, that's this one. 
Okay, now I'm gonna do one more stick one. This is from Bite Beauty, and if you want ultra cool, dead girl style, we're gonna do this one. Check this out. So this is really, really cool pink. And it is also really pretty, but you really gotta make sure your makeup is all kind of cool toned. Otherwise, this one's cool enough, I think it's gonna clash pretty bad. And it has a really similar formula to the L'Oreal one. It's really nice. It's got a little tiny bit, I just didn't remember this right, but it's got a little bit of reflect. But it's mostly matte. It's actually really comfortable. And I was thinking it was a little more dead girl than it is. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. You could definitely use this as a liner as well. So if you just wanted to do lip gloss over this, that would be so pretty. Okay, so that's this one from Bite Beauty. Okay, now this one is nice and light and it is another Dior one, but it is a matte Dior. It's not totally cool, but it looks good on us. It is very, very pastel-y, kind of a warm pink, but it is really pretty. It's gonna look better on your neutrals, but I think even Cool Tone can get away with this. I think this would be cool, uh, cool toned on a lot of people, but on those of us who are cool toned, it reads as just a tad bit warm. It's such a pretty finish. It's got that velvet matte finish. This one I think would look good with a lip liner as well, but it's pretty comfortable and for a matte, it's just really pretty. So that's this one from Dior. It's one of their lightest ones that they have in the matte formula, if not the lightest one. Now this one, it's sort of like, but sort of matte, sort of not. It's from Rose Ink. This is definitely very dark, but you can wear it in various, you know, depths of color. So if I go really light with it, this would be a good one to wear a liner with. If I go very light with it, it's kind of a mauve pretty plummy color for us. I'm gonna go a little darker, let's see. It's definitely a little harder to spread because it is a matte, but it's very pretty. This is one of those ones where it's not terribly cool toned itself, not really, at least on us, but it's neutral enough that it looks really good on our skin. And it picks up, especially if you're a redhead, sometimes you can get away with these a little bit like warmer plums and things like that because it sort of picks up the warmth in your hair and it, it sort of balances out and I think it looks really good. It's a really comfortable formula for a matte. Very, very pretty. Perfect for like a night out. So that's this one from Rose Ink. Okay, final bonus section. A lot of times we will end up getting a lipstick and it's just too warm. I mean, like we all know this it happens to us all the time, right? So what do you do if you can't return it and you just want to adjust it? I've collected some blue and purple adjusting lipsticks. So here's some of my absolute favorites. I'm left with sort of a little bit of a warm, like blotted look from that last matte one that I used. So I'm going to show you. I had to find this online, but this is one of my absolute favorites. This is one of those really good formulas. It's blue, but it's so pretty. And so a lot of times I will use a lip liner and I will adjust by just putting this on top of it and mixing it in with the lip liner a little bit if I want like a really cool, like icy look. Like say I'm doing silver on the eyes. I will use stuff like this. Or I will put this, that's so pretty. And this is so comfortable on top of other things to help adjust it just a little bit cooler. I know these look scary and maybe they're not for all of you, but especially if you are wearing things like the Cold Moon palette with these kind of colors in it and you're going for your like full ice fairy look, 
I mean, come on. Okay, so there's, that's one option. A little less dramatic is you can just get one of these lip oils, the Juvia's Place ones have, you know, great, have a great formula. Uh, take that off. And this is just a slight tint of blue. And you just put that on top and it's not gonna give you a whole lot of correcting, but it will give you a little bit and it's really comfortable. That one's really nice. It smells good too. <laughs> That's a really, really nice option. And then if you are just like, I'm living my blue fantasy, this Stila, oh my gosh, I love this. Again, this is like you've been messing with your cold moon palette and just screw it, we're going for it. This is sparkly, it's pretty. The one problem, makes your teeth look yellow. So I can't recommend that part, but sometimes I will use this just as a like a little bit in the middle of another color, just to give it a little bit of blue. So this one's really fun. I found this on Amazon as well. I just did a reel on this. The one that everybody asked me for, and I need to order more of it, is this Unicorn Glow. This is actually more purple, but it's cool. And it always brings down the kind of pinkness of something else. And it looks really good on your cooler, like cooler looks. So what I'll do is I will align my lips with the Gone Grige liner and use this kind of mixed with it. And it leaves me just a really light sort of cool toned but not too cool toned finish that I, people ask me about it all the time so this is one of the most comfortable lip glosses that I have the formula on this is great I actually need to order more of it it's only like eight dollars on Amazon you can also find them at Fred Meyer if you have Fred Meyers anywhere near you okay as a last little part let me show you how you adjust something that is as warm as this with all the different ones that I just mentioned. Obviously, I'm just gonna keep going cooler and cooler. You know, you keep picking ones as needed. That already looks nice and sort of grayish, which took that orange right out. All right, well, let's, let's just keep going and make it extra blue and fun and pretty. That's super pretty too. And finally, <laughs> It's just, I'm throwing the kitchen sink at it just for fun. And that I think is totally gorgeous. You can see how warm it was. In fact, let me show you exactly how warm it was and how cool it is now. So these are just tools, you know, things that you can use to mix. I almost always mix all of my lipsticks. It's rare that I just put one lipstick on and that's it. This totally works. Okay, so that was enormous. That was a whole lot. But now you have all kinds of options. If you can find them, I will have as much as I can find listed down below. Some of these you might have to go hunting for if you're really interested. But now you have so many ones that you can go check out that are truly gonna work for your cool toned fair skin or neutral fair skin. So. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or if you have ones that you wanna recommend because I'm always looking for more, please go ahead and leave those below. If you haven't already subscribed, I would sure appreciate it if you do because it helps my channel to grow and I really appreciate you guys being here. All right, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.